welcome to a free photo editing cloud-based resource for those of you doing ministry online and who don't want to pay for a subscri subscription fee and want something user-friendly. Canva is a wonderful resource um, and the pictures and social media shares are quite decent and easy to do. So first of all, you go to canva.com and you log in with your Facebook. You can create a, fa a password and sometimes they'll require you to use a password once in a while, so write down your password somewhere. But meanwhile, it's just an easy thing. Use Facebook to sign in. And the first thing you'll get is probably this interface right here. So one of the things you want to do is you see all these headings, click on more. Under more, you will see pre-sized things that you can use for Twitter, Tumblr, a social media graphic, all pre-sized, very shareable um, templates so you don't have to mess with knowing what the pixels are and everything. So just pick the one you want. If you're using Facebook, like the question to me was, you can click on Facebook cover. We'll open up a new window and under Facebook cover you can choose to use one of the templates on the side. In this case, we'll use this one. Now, the X's in the back mean that that's something you pay for. And so if you don't want to pay a dollar an image, just go ahead and change it out. Um, this is using, they used a uh, photograph frame that can be located under Elements. So it's very simple enough to change out the photo. So you just hit Delete and it'll reveal the frame underneath. Then you go to Find the Photo You Want bring it over and just drop it. And there it is, pre-sized, pre-cut, perfectly fit in this Facebook cover. Now, because this is a um, template, you can type over any of, the Im any of the things that you see on there. So if you're running a book club, if, you're, if your Facebook is for church, um, you can simply type over what it is and make it, uh, keep it attractive without much creative energy spent. So you just put it in there and you type it in. get rid of any of the quotation marks or things you don't need. In this case, you know, you can use uh, whatever you want in the space. If you meet every every week at the same spot, this cover would be ideal because if you meet, at, meet us at Starbucks. And the address down below where the Starbucks is located. And then if you don't like the top, the, the what they have on the top there, you just simply hit delete. You don't need to delete or change the the template much at all with that. Now there's a bunch of different things. You can make it transparent. This is handy if you want to type over something and have contrast with words and background. You can copy it if you want a duplicate or you can link it. Or trash it. Now you can copy it and that creates two images if you were creating um, a collage. You can also make it a color, add a filter, anything that you wanted. You can change the colors of the frame. If you notice there are two colors available. And then when you're done, hit download. You have a choice between JPEG and PNG and PDF. PDF is ideal if you're going to print it out, but use the PNG, the recommended, and download it. Now, if you have Chrome, it will actually download to the bottom of your screen. And you just hit open. You always want to open it just to verify that it's saved correctly, because sometimes uh, Canva makes small changes that don't save correctly, so you may have to redo it a little bit. So that's if you want to use a template. So go back to your main main dashboard by clicking Canva. And let's, for the sake of argument, choose another form to create. So we're creating a social media outlet, which is a, something you can share across different social media outlets. Uh, the options you have, you have a background. So you can choose a pattern or a solid color. You have dis different text. Um, template text and free text that you can use for a big heading and make a very artsy look to everything. 
You also have um, different kind of fonts you can use. And you can resize it if it brings it down to the second um, line. You have a subheading and it gets smaller and smaller. Again, you can have, I would recommend no more than two different kinds of fonts on, the, on any image. If you have a third different font, it just looks messy and unorganized. Next thing you can go to is Elements. Elements has free photos you can use that have access to the millions of photos available online, copyright free. Frames that are photos, other photo frames. Shapes, which are very handy for creating some really neat artwork. And some of the shapes, they don't have anything on the inside so that you can go ahead and create a hassle-free graphic. You've got lines, so if you wanted to ha add some geographical elements to it, some lines that separate other different elements, um, you can do that. You'll find that there are layers, so be sure to go to Arrange and hit Forward or Back in order to reveal the other layers and have access to them, otherwise it can be kind of annoying. So go ahead and arrange your elements on your artwork. Then there are other things like illustrations. Illustrations are mostly, they have a lot of free elements and pre-designed to create your own artwork. 